My name is Jerry Kroll. I'm the CEO of Electromechanica Vehicles Corp. And we're in the Electromechanica headquarters here in Vancouver, British Columbia, where our company's been uh, uh, located since 1981. You had your first production model just sold to uh, people in U.S. Minster. Yeah. What other markets are you looking at? Yeah, uh, it's a it's a world car. Yeah, it truly is a world car. Countries like Denmark, Norway, Holland, Germany, India have banned the sale of internal combustion cars. So yeah, it truly is a world car. You just took a test drive in it, and you realize that the steering is in the middle, so we don't have to move it to the right side or the left side. It's a car that can drive in uh, Tokyo. And the, the same car, right? Exactly as it is rolling off. You can have that one go to Tokyo, that one go to Indianapolis, right? Why is India ahead of British Columbia in environmental matters? I'd like to know the answer to that question. It would be lovely to have somebody step up in Canada and say, let's do a manufacturing facility here. All the other countries I've mentioned have got government incentives to get onto clean tech manufacturing. Canada has none. We've got to jump on this uh, uh, new clean energy bandwagon now so we're not following along or just buying the products from somewhere else. We should be making them. Province like British Columbia, we pride ourselves in, in you know, being connected to issues to do with business and the environment. Not only should we not be having fossil fuel vehicles out there, we've got to get onto clean tech manufacturing countries that have government incentives for manufacturing like the United States, like China, like India, like Mexico, you know, uh, let them drive the car and say, wow, I can get a ton of money to build a factory in China or India to build these. And so that's where the thousands will come from, but the tens will come from here, unless somebody from Victoria or Ottawa wakes up and realizes we're missing this thing. 10 years from now, I believe it'll be rare to see a gas car on the road. Only 10 years? 10 years. Yeah. When's the last time you walked into any proper office and saw a fax machine?